Hi, my name is Sarah and I'll be talking about SARS today. What is SARS really? S-A-R-S stands for Severe Acute. Oh, wait a minute. No. This video is not about SARS. This is about SIRS. Many people may be more familiar with SARS rather than SIRS, just like Sarah. However, SIRS, Systematic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, also known as sepsis, is the most frequent cause of mortality in the intensive care units and is responsible for more than 250,000 deaths in the United States annually. This video aims to spread awareness regarding sepsis and help people understand the current treatments in place to treat it. So, without further ado, what is sepsis? Sepsis is multi-organ shock caused by body's overreactive inflammatory response to infections. Symptoms include slurred speech, extreme shivering or muscle pain, passing of urine, and severe breathlessness. In order to combat sepsis, there have been guidelines released called sepsis 6. This was designed to evoke early interventions and consist of three diagnostic and three therapeutic steps to be delivered by staff within one hour of diagnosis. In the following segment, we'll explain the sepsis 6 and why it is an effective tool in treating this illness. Meet sepsis 1, aka the O2 man. Sepsis 1 delivers high flow oxygen to patients. Patients with sepsis require high flow oxygen via oxygen mass until oxygen saturation level within the blood is more than 94%. Good blood oxygenation is necessary for proper muscle function including the heart function. Meet sepsis 2, aka the investigator. Sepsis 2 involves taking blood cultures in order to help identify the antibiotic choice. Typically, Two blood cultures are collected from two different sites of the body. These blood cultures are examined to help identify the body's sensitivity to antibiotics and determine the most appropriate antibiotic regime to avoid complications. Meet Sepsis 3, aka the Defender. Sepsis 3's role is administering antibiotics. It is recommended that antibiotics are administered intravenously within one hour of sepsis being identified. It has been noted that every hour's delay in administering antibiotics in septic shock, mortality increases by 7.6%. After checking allergies and blood cultures, the most appropriate antibiotic is selected. Due to the risk associated with toxicity and resistance, antibiotic therapy is monitored daily. Meet Sepsis 4, aka the Count Dracula. Sepsis 4 measures serum lactate level and sends full blood count to the lab. In addition, full blood count should be taken in order to identify hemoglobin levels. Low hemoglobin levels reduces the delivery of oxygen to tissues. Also, a raised white cell count is a strong indicator of infection. Meet Sepsis 5, aka the Aqua Woman. Sepsis 5 involves giving more fluid to patients. Fluid replacement is necessary in ensuring that the blood is being delivered to the tissues, and it prevents hypotension or low blood pressure. A common symptom of sepsis is a significant dehydration, and so high levels of fluid resuscitation is usually needed. Meet Sepsis 6, aka the recorder. Sepsis 6 is keeping track of the accurate urine output measurement. Fluid balance is often a good indicator of proper functioning kidneys and circulatory efficiency. Therefore, it is an essential tool for sepsis management. Commonly, insertion of urinary catheter is highly accurate in the measurement of urinary output. However, this method may also increase the risk of secondary infection and should receive careful monitoring. In summary, sepsis is a multi-organ shock caused by the body's overreactive inflammatory response to infection. You have also met the sepsis 6 characters and what they do to help people with sepsis. With sepsis, faster treatment equals greater chance of survival. If you have infection and you show symptoms such as slurred speech, extreme shivering or muscle pain, passing your urine, and severe breathlessness, seek medical help immediately. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel.